Hey everyone, it's Andy, and today I'm going to compare two tools for recording and analyzing online meetings. These are Blue Dot and Circle Back. We'll compare their pros and cons. So by the end of the video, you'll know which tool is better suited for your needs. First, let's take a look at Circle Back. And to use it, you need to sign up on their website. And the first difficulty you may encounter, it's the requirement to provide payment information. When you register for Circle Back, you need to provide your email address and then confirm it. And after that, provide your payment information. You can't sign up and test this product. You only get a seven day free trial once you fill out the payment information. After you do that, you can start recording. To do this, you need to click the new meeting button and here you can choose the recording options. You can record speech from your microphone. You can upload an existing audio or video recording for analysis, or you can paste a link to the meeting to connect the bot. Let's try using this option in a Google Meet meeting. Let's create a meeting, copy the link, and paste it into this window. Now we need to wait for the bot, which will record and analyze the meeting. You can also paste the Zoom or Microsoft Teams link. So the bot connected in about 30 seconds, and it's a separate participant, which can add some discomfort since there's a third party on the call. It constantly reminds everyone that the meeting is being recorded, and that makes it hard for people to relax. Okay, let's say the recording is done, and we want to get the results. We can stop the recording manually on the main circle back page by clicking this button, or we can just leave the meeting, and if there are no participants left, the recording will stop automatically. It's important to note that after the meeting ends, you need to wait a bit to access the information. You can't review or listen to the recording right away. You need to wait a little bit. Let's take a look at how the recording registration process works in BlueDot. To use it, you need to install the free extension. After installation, you'll see the extension icon. Here you can log in using your Google account or with your email address. After I logged into my account, I see this widget. Here I can choose a note template and I can select the language. Blue Dot supports over 100 languages. After I set everything up, I click the start capture button and literally immediately Blue Dot begins to analyze the meeting in the background. Now you can communicate with your colleagues without worrying about waiting for a bot. You don't have to worry about there being a stranger at the meeting. To get the recording results, we can hover over the widget and stop the meeting recording, or we can just leave the meeting and Blue Dot will open the meeting link in a new tab where we can review it right away and wait for the moment when the transcript is generated. And that's one of the differences between Circle Back and Blue Dot. We can review the meeting right after it ends. Okay, let's take a look at the analysis results after using Circle Back. In the transcript tab, we can see the text transcript of the meeting. The analysis was pretty accurate and I hardly found any typos. There's also a recording of the meeting that we can review and listen to again. We can go back to the part we need by clicking on the text within the transcript. We can search by keywords. Download the recording to your computer and we see that the recording will be available for a whole year. In the notes tab, an action items overview is generated based on the standard template. On the right side, we can see the speakers and how much they talk. And we can also use the assistant. That can answer the question. For example, what's the key takeaway from this meeting? And it will quickly and accurately provide us with that information. An interesting feature of this tool is the ability to create automation. Here, there's the option to generate insights, which already has preset templates, like questions, customer details, and follow-up email. I created an automation for email follow-up and it worked quite well. I created a text template that I can copy and send to my colleagues. The challenge with these automations was figuring out what tags to use to create different insights, especially if I want to generate different insights after meetings of different formats. In addition, you can connect various services and update information in them based on the meeting outcomes. On the screen, you can see which services you can create integrations with. Now let's take a look at what the recording looks like after using BlueDot. On the right side, we can see that BlueDot has generated a complete transcript of the video. We can also click on any section and review the part we need. We can also search by keywords and choose the language in which the text will be displayed. In addition, there's the insights tab where we can take a look at the talk ratio, interaction stats, and see additional information about how the time was distributed among the speakers. BlueDot also has its own AI chat that can answer questions related to the past meeting. And we can also ask it, What's the key message of this meeting? The Blood.AI AI chat works almost instantly. Right away, I get information about what the key takeaway from this meeting was. And on the left side of the screen, Blood.AI generates an AI summary of the meeting along with an overview, action items, and topics. By clicking on it, we can quickly review the part we need. With Blood.AI, we can also choose from prepared templates. To create your own custom template, you need to go to this tab and click on the Add Template button. Here you can insert a prompt to create a template, and here you need to enter its name. After you create your custom node template, you'll be able to select it for BlueDot. You can create several of your own custom templates and then, depending on the format of the meeting, choose the ones you need. In BlueDot, I can also create an email follow-up, but it is a built-in feature that works with one click. But I don't need to set up any automation. I just hit one button and it takes me straight to the email sending window. All I have to do now is list the colleagues I want to send this message to. And this feature looks super convenient. In BlueDot, you can also upload a video for further analysis. You can import it from Zoom, 
from Google Drive or upload it directly from your computer. And Blue Dot will also analyze the meeting later and provide all the necessary information about it. Okay, let's get back to Circleback. Circleback has a desktop app that lets you record meetings without using a bot. But about it, I had very little information and I found out about this app completely by chance. When I clicked here on the three dots, I installed this app to see how it works. The interface is duplicated from the web version. With the app, you can record your screen and sound from the computer. Let's see how this works. We click the new meeting button, then record. And here we have the option to choose which window or screen to record. The advantage is that the recording will be done without using a bot. But the downside is that you will have to start and stop recording manually. This means that you can simply forget, set a recording, or record a meeting for the maximum length. And the need to install an additional app for this adds some complications. Another difficulty I encountered. That's something Circleback couldn't display. Two scheduled meetings on the main page, even though I have Google Calendar access Circleback. Still says I don't have any upcoming meetings. Let's see how this is implemented in BlueDot. If you want every meeting to be recorded without having to hit record, you need to connect your Google Calendar. After that, go to this tab and check the box. After record all meetings. Now, when your meetings start, a bot from BlueDot will automatically join and analyze and record the meeting in the background. In addition to that, BlueDot has integrations with Google Drive, Notion, Zoom, Slack, Zoom for Teams, and HubSpot, but only on the business plan. And I think it's time to move on to the pricing. Circleback has a flat rate plan for $25 for individual users that allows full functionality. Perhaps we would like to have a simpler tariff for using basic functionality, for example, without using automation. Also, if you want to use Circleback with a team, you'll need to pay $30 for each participant. As for Blue Dot, you have a more flexible choice of pricing plans here. You can start with the free plan, which allows you to record up to five meetings. There's also a basic plan for $18 a month. It allows you to record meetings without limits, but only audio. If you want to create your own unique templates and import videos, and if you want to record video, the $25 per month plan is right for you. Also, regarding the pricing plans in Blue Dot, you can use any of these plans with your team. To understand how this works, I'll show you using the example of collections. You can create a specific collection, name it, let's say, Teams Meetings. Here you can determine what type of access each participant will have. And if needed, you can list each of them. So, my conclusion is that Circleback is a good tool that works efficiently and accurately. It allows you to create automations, uses a precise assistant, and operates quite quickly. On the downside, I can point out the use of a bot, the complexity in setting up various automations, and also the need to link payment information, just for testing the functionality. For me, Blue Dot, a more flexible, functional, and user-friendly tool that works well for both regular and advanced users. I hope this video helped you figure things out. Which tool is best suited to your needs? Let me know in the comments which ones you're already using, and see you in the next videos.